Hello and welcome my friend and then I am planning to explain and tell you that how works these very interesting cars hand brake shoes and now we are talking this hand brake stick what we have in car truck and SUV and how they really works and now I have installed in here this Toyota Corolla's rear areas 2006 year models cars this brake disc and brake room and in that inside area brake shoes and hand brake shoes are working and here we have these shoes and next I explain that how this hand brake really works hand brake now I pull up and then down now hand, hand brake cable must be long and now short and release and now it must to be long and now short okay and let's test that okay and really firstly I explain that how we have to assemble these parts because this is brake shoe system and there is like one, two, three, four, five these core parts and also couple of springs and locking pins but this is the most complex thing that we have to understand that how really brake shoes and hand brake works because this is really interesting and complex system and do not worry because this is also complex and actually it was was complex to me before but of course now I know because I am professional engineer that how these parts works and this is really nice engineering and firstly we have this brake shoes and there is this braking this element this friction what takes contact to this brake disc inside area this is the thing it takes contact in here and when this press in here then our hand brake works okay and we have really two of these shoes and these close in one only one specific way and when we go to look that up area there are those half circles in here we have to combine these together this is like starting point now we can see better and then there is this interesting adjusting bolt and this purpose is that when we rotate that central part then this part in here rotates in wider and shorter and it adjusts this brake shoes circle that how big our circle is and that's we install this part it goes in both ways in here in that way and now this adjusting bolt is in position and then we have this important hand brake this plate where is connection to this hand brake stick and cable and this part goes only in one way this part really goes only in here one way a note and there is important that this side where is this wider area in here in that area came this hand brake connection bar and this this big wrench in here and and this part there is bolt in here in that area and there is hole and this part goes in only one way in here and, and note also that there is right side there is mark in here boss and R logo and in left side there is another side and this goes only in one side and this part really goes in that hole and note there is this bolt and it goes directly that hole I can install that in also in that direction but then this system it won't work and now when I install that in here I have final part left and this bigger and wider cut and this hole 
goes all the way, always in that area. And now I rotate and swap that in this direction, and then this area goes in these holes. And this is this setup. And if you set up in that way, your handbrake juice, your juice works. And then there is only interesting thing that in this hook in here becomes this hand break stick cable in that hole in here and we can go to look that hand break this cable because it goes in directly in this hook in here and let's go to look that cable because it is really critical okay now we are looking this rear brake areas and here is really this hand brake cable and that cut this part becomes in this area, this is tie connection in this way. And this is this point, how this works. And note that this connection in here, how these parts are connected, this is really specific way that when we first time take these parts away, we have to really well adjust and understand and that in which way, which way these parts comes in here. Is this this way or another? But in that way, this hook works. And then when we move our inside areas, this handbrake stick, this cable goes in inner, in that one, in, in, in here. It moves like in inner and in this purpose and that way it moves that handle and this bar and this wrench and then this wrench moves our brake juice and let's go to look next that how this cables movement when it goes in directly in this this area when we move our handbrake stick that how this part then really moves those brake juice and this is really important information Okay, and now when we know that how this uh, hand brake cable, this connection bar moves, I connect these things again in back, in this way, and note that this part then belongs in that hole, and there is important thing that you have to understand that these parts goes in this way. This is critical thing, that when I install this bar in here, there is this space in here and this part goes in here. This is the trick, in this way. Look, and if sometimes we miss to install this part, but this is the way how handbrake works. This wider part goes in together of this, in that way. And this is the right way. And then when this part moves, it moves this part. And now I connect this back again, like in one piece, that you can understand that how this system works. In here, good. And now I connect these things again. This is like Lego, Lego parts. And then this part goes in here. Okay, and in now, now this system is ready for work. And now really when we move our handbrake stick, then this part moves and can you see, these parts became wider. It moves like in this. And this is this purpose. And we can look also this up area closer. This is really this purpose that how handbrake system works. Now it is like position that, that handbrake stick is off, but then when we pull up in same way this part moves in here and as you can see this part becomes wider and there is then this contact and break point. And now I can show also in a little bit bigger view that when handbrake is off these parts are in here, but then when we pull this handbrake stick, then these parts became this wider and we have 
then compression in brake room. Then we like to really test that how this system works when we install in here this real brake room and brake juice this area and this part really belongs in inner in here in that way and now we can see that when wheels are moving these parts moves in their inside and now I can I can adjust this how well this takes contact so that I rotate this wheel and this is really critical factor because now, now this brake juice they can move in here in that way and now brake hand brake is off and then when we decide to adjust and pull up this hand brake stick then these parts moves in here and now there is good contact between this brake juice and also this brake disc and in that way hand brake brakes works and there is really important that this part is connected in this wire to this inside cabin areas uh, this hand brake stick or brake pedal and in that way this system works and also that how we can adjust then this hand brake force there is this this adjusting bolt and when I rotate that in here in that way these parts became wider and now they are stuck in here we can look even closer okay and then I am planning to show you that how works really this adjusting bolt and we have in this outer area we have this hole in here where is this rubber cover and when we take that out in another side we have this adjusting bolt in here and using screwdriver we can rotate this bolt and when we rota rotate in that way this brake shoes became loosen and they are like off but then when I rotate that little bit more then this brake juice takes contact and they are actually like stuck like in this braking position and that's we have to little bit back that there is a small area that these parts can move but in this way this adjusting bolt really works